Now, in this session, we'll try to look at the questions which are related to calendar chapter. If you observe this question, if today is Wednesday, then what is the date? And we have uh, A, B, C, D and 1, 2, 5 and match the following question they have given. So, to solve this type of question, first of all, we have to understand the concept which is related to calendars. Let's look at the concept. So, basically, all the questions of calendars will revolve around the concept of odd days. What is odd days is, odd days are nothing but the number of days which are more than the number of completed weeks. For example, if you have 15 days, what is the number of odd days here? Odd days means number of completed weeks first we have to check. One week will have 7 days. That means 7 days plus 7 days plus 1 day. So that means after completing 2 weeks, we have 1 day extra. This 1 day is called odd day. So odd days are nothing but number of days which are more than the number of completed weeks. Here, to calculate this in mathematically, you can just take the number of days and divide with 7. Observe the reminder. This reminder indicates the number of odd days. So, for example, we have 16 days. What is the number of odd days? 16 by 7. 7 to the 14. Reminder is 2. So, odd days are 2. If you have 25 days, 25 by 7. 7, 7 3s are 21. We left with the remainder of 4. If you have 50 days, 50 by 7. Reminder is 1. So, odd days are 1. So, like that, we can find out the odd days of any particular given number of days. And similarly, odd days calculation for months. Generally, we will be having 28 days or 29 days or 30 days or 31 days for the months. So, wh what are the months having 28 and 29? February is having 28 or 29. When it is 28, if it is a non-leap year. Non-leap year will have 28 days in February. Leap year will have 29 days in February. So, how to identify leap year and non-leap year? So, you can easily identify by looking at the divisibility rule of 4. That means if you have any year 2023 is there. Is this leap year or non-leap year if you want to check out? You can check the last two digits of the year. If the last two digits are divisible by 4, then we can say that is a leap year. If it is not divisible by 4, we can say that is a non-leap year. So 2023 is a non-leap year because 23 is not divisible by 4. For example, 2028 is given. Is it a leap year? Yes, it is a leap year because last two digits are divisible by 4. We can say that year is a leap year. If it is a leap year, number of days in February will be 29. If it is a non-leap year, number of days in February will be 28. And remaining months will have 30 or 31. So to remember whether the months are having 30 or 31 days, I am using a simple trick. Just remember this thing. So let's assume that you are somewhere in Andhra. You are traveling from Andhra to Jammu. So if you are traveling from Andhra to Jammu, in which direction you have to travel? From south to north. So that is what I have mentioned here. To move from Andhra to Jammu, I have to take a direction of south to north. So here just highlight Andhra to Jammu, south to north, A, J, S, N. These uh, letters you just highlight. So what is this A, J, S, N is indicating is A indicates April, J indicates June. S indicates September, N indicates November. These are the months having 30 days. Remaining all will have 31 days except February as we discussed. So AJSN, April, June, September, November. And sometimes June, uh, January, July to avoid this confusion. So just remember while you are traveling, you will definitely reach the midpoint of the map. So similarly, out of 12 months, the mid month is going to be 12 by 2, 6. That means in this AJSN trick, J indicates June only. Odd days calculation for given months. AJSN, April, June, September, November will have the total number of odd days as 2. Remaining all will be 3 except February. This is a statement you can remember to solve the number of odd days for the months. And similarly, odd days calculation for years. So odd days calculation for years, as I told you, leap year and non-leap year will be having. Leap year means you are going to have 360 days, 366 days. Non-leap year means you will be having 365 days. So if it is 365 days, you can just uh, observe the number of orders just by dividing with 7. 7 5s are 35, we left with 15, 7 2s are 14, leftover reminder is 1. So non-leap year, number of orders are 1. If it is a leap year, 366 days will be there. So number of orders will be given as 2. 366 days, number of orders will be given as 2. So remember, leap year and non-leap year, orders are going to be 2 and 1 and similarly for centuries also we will be having the odd days to remember that you can remember this cycle every leap century will have the number of odd days as 0 first century number of odd days are 5 second century number of odd days are 3 third century number of odd days are 1 and again leap century number of odd days are 4 so that means this cycle will be keep repeating 
and a leap century are nothing but any century which is multiplier of 400 will be treated as a leap century. 400, 800, 1200, 1600, all these are going to be treated as a leap centuries. So, remember after leap century, the immediate century will be treated as a first century, next second century, third century, again leap century will be coming into the picture. Hope you understand. Let's move on to the questions. How many odd days are there in 352 days? So, just simply what we need to do, take 352 and divide with 7. 7 5 are 35 and we left with uh, 2. So, reminder is 2. Mark the answer as odd days are 2. And we are going to see the questions based on odd days by connecting with with reference model. So, with reference model means what? They will be giving a specific uh, day and they will be asking you to find out what is the day after 10 days or before 10 days. Like that you will be seeing the question. That means if you observe a question here. If today is Monday, then what will be the day after 123 days is a question. So what you have to do is, first of all, you just need to observe what is the number of odd days available in this 123 days. 123 divided by 7, if you do, you will get the number of odd days. So 7 ones are 7, we left with 53. 7 sevens are 49, we left with a reminder of 4. So because we got a reminder as 4, what we need to do is, they are talking about after 123 days, today is Monday. So just highlight the Monday after 123 days means we are getting 4 odd days after indicates future just move forward. If they are talking about past move backward direction. So after 123 days so after 4 days 1, 2, 3, 4 mark the answer Friday. Hope you are able to understand what we have done is if today is Monday so because they given the reference as Monday take Monday. They are asking what is the day after 123 days. 123 by 7 reminder is 4. So move forward by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Mark the answer Friday. Mark the answer Friday. Let's look at the question which we have taken in the starting. So if today is Wednesday, then what is the day? And we have the match the following. So today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. What is the day after 100 days? 100 days means what is the reminder? 100 divided by 7, 7 ones are 7, we left with 30, 7 fours are 28, reminder is 2. That means you have to move forward by 2 days. Answer will be Friday. So check the option where Friday is there. So answer will be definitely 5. So if you look at the option choices, these two are wrong. Answer can be either B or D. And next, B is same. So let me check for C so that we will get the answer. So C is after uh, next 50 days. Next 50 days means... 50 divided by 7 if you do, leftover reminder is going to be 1. That means you will be moving forward by 1 day. So because today is Wednesday, move forward by 1 day, it will give Thursday. That means option C must be connected with 1. So check the option which is uh, matching with that market as answer choice. So answer is option B. Let's look at one more uh, question. If today is Monday, then what was the day? on before 120 days, after uh, 500 days, next 158 days, something like that they have given. So whatever is the number, any bigger number, you just need to divide with 7, that's it. So before 120 days, if you check, 120 if you take, uh, divide with 7, we are getting a reminder as 1. If today is Monday, just highlight the Monday. Before indicates past, you have to go back by 1. So you just go back by 1, mark the answer choice as Sunday. So before 120 days, you will get that answer as Sunday. Answer can be either B or D. Eliminate A and C. And now moving forward to the second one. After 500 days. After 500 days means 500 by 7. 7 7s are 49. We left with 10. 7 ones are we left with a reminder of 3. That means you have to move forward by 3 days. Because Monday is a highlighted one. Move forward by 3 days. 1, 2, 3. Mark the answer as Thursday. So second one must be Thursday. So, which is available as option 3 for us. So, B must be matching with 3. Eliminate this. Mark the answer as this. Hope you are able to understand. So, moving forward to next question. Leap century. <coughs> what is the number of odd days? Odd days are given. We have to match the following with uh, this odd days. So, leap year means as, uh, as I told you, which is having 366 days. Number of odd days are 2. So, you can check the option which is matching with that. These two options are matching. And December. December means how many days? 31 days will be there. So December 31st we know that uh, so December 31 days means 31 divided by 7 we left with a reminder of 3. So December should match with 3. B must be 3. Two options are matching. And leap century. Leap century means number of odd days are going to be 0. So remember that point. Eliminate this option. Mark the answer as this. First century as I told you number of odd days are going to be 5. So remember the odd days so that you can easily solve.
If you observe this question, in 2022, India's Independence Day was celebrated on Monday. So they given the reference as Monday. In 2024, Independence Day will be. So 2022, it is on Monday. 2024, we need to find out. So 22 to 23. There is one year completed. Number of orders are one. Because one year means 365 days. 52 completed weeks, one extra day. That is a odd day. And 23 to 24. How many odd days will be there? So 23 to 24. In the year of 24, you are at August. That means uh, 24 is a leap year. February will have 29 days. That means number of odd days will become 2 here. That means the total number of uh, odd days from here to here is going to be 3. That means your day will be forwarded by 3. 1, 2, 3. Mark the answer Thursday. And yes. So hope you understand. Do some practice questions just to check whether you are capable of solving or not. Comment your answers in the chat box. Practice question number one. Practice question number two. Practice question number three. Thank you so much. See you in the next session.